Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to install PureDux FSR3 Frame Generation Mod in Last of Us and Red Dead Redemption Part 2. For the latter, I have already shown the mods installation process on my ROG Ally. The installation process will be exactly the same in this video. I just wanted to test the game's performance in send any area with this mod installed on my Windows PC that has an RTX 2070 Super GPU. You can download the mod from PureDux Discord server. In order to gain access to it, you need to subscribe to PureDux Patreon page. Their monthly Patreon subscription costs around 5 US dollars. I am from India, had to pay around 5.9 US dollars after taking GS2 into consideration. I have already tested Luke FC's FSR 3 frame generation mod in these two games. Observe flickering of the game's interface. This problem is not present in PureDux FSR 3 frame generation mod. I'll kick things off with Last of Us. PureDark has provided the installation instructions on their Patreon page. Fairly simple. Just need to extract the mod's contents to the game's install directory. Need to turn on FSR2 from the in-game settings. My GPU supports DLSS, so I'll be enabling it from the mod's menu. Just need to press the end keyboard key in order to open the mod's menu. From it, we can enable frame generation. Numpad star key is the hotkey for toggling frame generation. Important notes, we should not be Using any other reshade effect or the HUD fix will fail. Don't change the brightness from the in-game settings. So now I'll just download the mod. This is PureDash Discord server. On the download section, just click on TLOU beta access. Scroll down to the end. I'll be downloading the mod's FSR3 build. It works on any GPU. Whether it's from AMD, Intel or Nvidia, it does not matter. Just click on the blue link. I've already downloaded the mod. There's the archive file that we just downloaded. Extract its contents. Copy all of the files. Open the game's install directory. I own the Steam version of Last of Us. Select the game from your Steam library. Right click. Go to manage then click on browse local files. This is the game's install directory. Just paste the mod files here. Replace in my case as these files were already present. Launch the game. Reshade menu, our mod is working. If you are running the mod for the first time, you will be required to authenticate it. Just press the end keyboard key, then you will see a virtual button with authenticate written on it. Click on it. A new browser window will open up. Make sure you are signed into your Patreon account. The authenticator will ask for your permission. Just click on allow. Give the permission and return to the game. Close the mod menu and open it again. You should be able to access the mod settings now. I have already shown the authentication process in my Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Display settings. I am using Full HD resolution. FSR2 enabled using its quality preset. Motion blur set to nil. Using the high preset, estimated VRAM usage 6.7 GB. Now I will open mods menu, just press the end keyboard key. Here it is. I have selected DLSS as the upscaler. The mod also supports FSR2, XCSS and FSR3. Only select DLSS if you have an RTX based GPU. I have enabled frame generation from here. Make sure enable hardfix setting is checked. First I will run the game without frame generation. Just uncheck it. You can toggle it by pressing the numpad star key. Game has started playing as Joel. Here FPS is around 80. This is the game running without frame generation. This is the undead. Cannot detect light. I'll just enable the mod now. Yeah, FPS increased up to 144. I'll start my monitor, refresh it. Good to see game's interface is not flickering. I'll just take out this guy, play the game for a brief moment. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Subtitles are also not flickering. Not detected. <laughs> Get off me, creep. 
Alright, that's all of them. Dead. I'll just go outside in the open. Let's head back into the city. There you go. Here FPS is close to hundred. Game is still running very smoothly. I'm observing some minor artifacts around Joel's Won't character you model. Get you some of them air fresheners. Hey, if they weren't expired, that'd be a good idea. Nothing extreme. Okay, so when I move the camera around quickly, I can see some artifacts around the left side of the display. It's a common problem with frame generation. This process is done in order to prevent the flickering of the game's interface. Mod works very nicely. Now I'll be testing the next game. Open Pyodas Discord server. Under download section, just click on RDI2 beta access. Scroll down to the end and download the FSR3 build of this mod. I'll be using build 03 hotfix2. Already extracted the contents of this archive file. Copy the files. Open the game's install directory. I own the Rockstar launcher version of the game. Open Rockstar Games Launcher using run as administrator mode. Click on settings. Then click on Red Dead Redemption 2. Then click on open. Next to view installation folder. This is the game's install directory. Paste the mod files here. Give the permissions. We are ready to run the game. First I'll run the game without frame generation. Unexpected files have been found in the install directory of Red Dead Redemption 2. Make sure you don't go online with the mod installed. I'll be just playing the story mode of the game. This mod won't work with the Vulkan version of this game. Make sure API is set to DirectX 12 before installing the mod. Game settings, full HD resolution, vSync disabled, triple buffering setting disabled. Most of the settings are set to Ultra. I'll just disable DLSS from here. Enable FSR2. We'll enable DLSS from the mods menu. Graphics API set to DirectX 12. From here, I have disabled motion blur. Now I'll enable mods menu. Just press the end keyboard key. There it is. Selected DLSS as the upscaler. Different options are available, FSR2, XCSS and FSR3. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Enable hardfix setting enable. Hardfix method. Heartless detection. Start the game. Playing as John Marston. I am in Saint Denis. It's the night time. Wow, the graphics look so stunning. FPS is around 50. Now I'll enable frame generation. Press its hotkey. Numpad star. Observe the FPS counter. Yeah, FPS increased up to 95. FPS got almost doubled. Game's interface is not flickering. You can see the minimap. Okay, so when I move the camera around quickly, can observe some artifacts around the character model like this. Not a realistic scenario. No graphical artifacts when I move the camera slowly or rather I should say normally. Okay, I'll just call my horse. There's my horse, finally. You're a good filly. Yeah, this lighting effect is very demanding on the GPU. Nighttime makes the game very demanding on the hardware. I'm going for a ride. I'll slow down a bit. Wow, look at that lighting quality. 90 to 100 FPS. 
can't believe this game is almost five years old now. This mod really helps a lot in improving the game's performance in any area. The best part of the mod is that you can use it on any GPU. I have already tested it on my ROG LA Radeon 780M GPU. Mod really helped in improving the game's performance on that device. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.